A Royal Marine who was one of the first on the scene of the horror M5 crash has described seeing body parts scattered everywhere after rushing over to help. Alex Morgan, 27, rescued two young children trapped by their seatbelts inside a burning vehicle which had flipped and rolled halfway down a bank. Mr. Morgan, who was traveling to Coventry with his girlfriend Haley O'Connor described the carnage after rushing to help following the horror collision. A woman and two children remain in hospital with life-threatening injuries after the lorry collided with oncoming traffic between junctions 16 and 14 on the M5 in South Gloucestershire on Saturday. A woman and two children remain in hospital with life-threatening injuries after the incident. Mr. Morgan, a Royal Marine, leapt straight out of the vehicle after seeing a dark car lying upside down on the motorway. Mr. Morgan said, for work you get a bit of experience and training in first aid, but this was by far the worst road traffic collision that I have seen in this country. It was harrowing. I've seen some dark things during my time, but you never expect to see something like this in the UK. The hero Marine was texting at the time when Miss O'Connor slammed on her brakes to avoid the pillow. For me, instinct just kicked in straight away. I was the first one to go over to the car to see what was going on because the accident had only really just happened at that point, Mr. Morgan continued. The children in the back seat were in floods of tears. They were clearly very scared about what was happening. After pulling the children from the wreckage, Mr. Morgan decided to escort them away from the crash via the boot so that they couldn't see their parents' condition. I couldn't put a figure on how old they are, but they were certainly young children. I would say that the girl was 10-ish and the lad about 11. We took the decision to get them out of the car straight away so that they could get some treatment and to calm them down. Because of the condition that their parents were in, I decided to take them out in such a way that they couldn't see the front of the car by the boot effectively. Describing the carnage, Mr. Morgan said the car was on fire with a man dead and the woman, believed to be the children's mother, unconscious. The front of the car was on fire and we had to go and get some fire extinguishers from a nearby caravan to put them out. The woman looked to be unresponsive, but when I checked her pulse she clearly had one. I could tell straight away that the dad was dead. Me and some other helpers looked for a pulse, but you could just tell by the way that he his body was contorted, that he was gone. The woman kept on moving in and out of consciousness, and because the car kept lighting up again, we had to get her out of there, which she did. She was bleeding from her nose and looked to be in a really really bad way. I'm still very concerned for her now. Miss O'Connor comforted the young boy while others looked after the girl. When the boy came out, Haley went over to comfort him, and a few went over to the girl.
it was impossible to talk to either of them. They were fading in and out of shock. People were just trying to reassure them that everything would be okay. Someone asked me to check out the other car that was involved, but I could tell immediately that there were deaths in there. The car was completely smashed up and ruined, and you could see body parts had become detached. There were just these body parts scattered everywhere. It was horrendous. Haley was really shaken up by the whole thing. She's never seen anything like that before, and it clearly hit her very hard. She wasn't able to drive the rest of the way, and to be honest just being in the car was pretty tough after you've seen something like that. We've had to drive back home, and that's been very hard. I think it's something that will haunt both of us for a long time. The serviceman played down his heroic actions at the crash scene, saying, I did what anyone else would have done if they had been the first to the door of that car. Police praised the actions of quick-thinking motorists who went to the aid of victims, pulling them from burning cars as children screamed while trapped in crashed vehicles. Police confirmed the truck had struck at least two other vehicles. Jasper Fox, who was in a car traveling behind the lorry, said, it was absolutely horrific. There were two other cars involved. One had the roof clean off and was completely destroyed. I saw a couple of fatalities and rang 999. Another witness, Daniel Stevenson, 31, described seeing a burning car upside down next to the lorry with two people stuck inside.